How long does it take for blushing to dissipate using tapping? That's the question from Chris M. Chris, thanks for your question. And the answer is this. It depends. Depends on the person, depends on the situation. Every person is unique, every situation is unique. It can happen as quickly as an hour. That's uh, not something I've personally experienced as a coach or myself overcoming my own blushing problem. Uh, the fastest I've managed to help a client overcome it is three sessions. So that's over a three week period. And I've also worked with people over a longer period of time, slowly but surely decreasing the blushing issue more and more and more. Okay, so those are kind of the, both ends of the extreme. So it falls anywhere in between. The question isn't, um, <clears throat> well, that is the question that you're asking, but that shouldn't be the question necessarily. Uh, how long is it gonna take before the blushing disappears? It's rather, what can I do right now in order to chip away at the layers of blushing? And um, you know, what's my best strategy going forward? Well, I get to that. First, a few things. One, um, there are a couple of things that make it take longer. So if you blush in certain situations and that's it, you're not upset about it, you're not worried about it, it just happens, you know, and this it's not this big deal, it's not this big drama, it's not this thing that you're afraid of, you haven't identified yourself with it, and all the rest of the more common issues associated with blushing, then you can get rid of it in as quickly as an hour. Because there might be, likely is, a specific experience where the blushing kick-started. You know, it might be as it was for me when I got ridiculed in front of the class by my teacher. Um, <clears throat> that started my blushing. Um, however, it's likely that you have developed this issue and then you uh, started to experience more blushing. Then you became upset about the fact that you had this blushing issue. Now you um, are ashamed of the fact that you blush. You probably judge yourself for it. Oh, I'm a loser. I'm weaker than others. I have a weak spot. I'm an easy target. Uh, people are out to get me. All sorts of beliefs around it. Now you might start seeing yourself as a blusher. You know, I'm this guy, in this case, that blushes, you know, and people see me in that way. Then there's resistance to change and it becomes quite a complex issue. However, don't let that scare you, that word complex, because the complex can be broken down into smaller pieces. And then you can chip away at the complex in an easy way, taking one step at a time. And that's also uh, what typically happens in coaching sessions or when you start working with yourself on this issue. You take a small piece of the issue and you start tapping to neutralize it. And one easy thing that you can do right now, for example, is to ask yourself, how do I feel about the fact that I blush? Is it okay that that happens? And, you're, you know, and what you'll likely get is like, oh, I feel embarrassed about it. I'm angry at myself that it's coming up. I feel frustrated about it. I'm afraid it's never gonna go away. In other words, you have all of these emotions that you feel about this issue that you're dealing with. And um, you might have all sorts of judgments that I went over earlier towards yourself. You might believe that you can't overcome it. And your answer to, is it okay that you're blushing, might be no. And then my follow-up would be, why not? And then you might have all sorts of reasons. Well, because it's weak and I shouldn't blush and other people, etc. And then you get into all of the reasons for why it's not okay. And all of those reasons keep the blushing going. That non-acceptance, those feelings about the blushing and your judgments about the blushing actually make the problem worse. Because now what happens is you're in a particular social situation and I don't know, the attention is on you and something is being said and boom, you feel that blush coming up, that heat going from your chest up to your neck and you know, you're feeling your ears getting warm and it's rushing to your face, you know, that kind of stuff. I know exactly what it's like, experienced it for about two decades. Um, it's a very uncomfortable uh, sensation and then 
when that happens, you're like, uh-oh, it's happening. How do I hide this? Oh, this is so embarrassing. And then if you see other people look at you while you're blushing, you know, now you start to feel that sense of shame and cringing. You just want to sink through the floor, or, you know, escape somehow. And then, you know, all of this is happening, right? And so these feelings on top of the blushing experience make it work. They exacerbate the problem. And then it gets even worse. So now you've blushed and you know, other people saw it and you go home and now you start worrying, oh my God, everyone has seen me blush and uh, this is a big problem and what are people gonna think about it? And this has ruined my reputation. What if I'm gonna run into these people again? And now you're just going over the event over and over and over and over and you're making all of, up all these doom scenarios about what's gonna happen in the future as a result of this blushing experience. and on and on and on you know that makes the problem bigger constantly worrying about it you know in anticipation of an uh, uh, social event am i gonna get am i gonna blush are there these people there because i might blush um all of that kind of stuff yeah and so the problem just grows and grows and grows so one way to start to begin chipping away at the problem is to ask yourself how do i feel about it and am I okay with it? Because you want to neutralize your feelings about it and you want to come to terms with the fact that it happens. Okay, sounds very hard and it does take work, but with tapping, you can actually do that. All right, and um, it is necessary. If you want to get over your blushing, you need to come to terms with it. It's actually a normal, natural response. And um, <clears throat> Yes, I understand that it can be excessive for you and then it's not normal, right? It, and whatever is normal anyway, but yes, then it can be uh, bothersome and it can be abnormal and it can be out of the ordinary and people can point it out and see it and all of that. And yet you can still come to a place where you accept it. And that is a prerequisite for lasting change to completely overcome this blushing issue. And uh, I dealt with blushing until my late 20s. Now I found tapping in my early 20s. And so I had used any possible technique to try to get rid of it and you know, and it actually had shrunk. It, had, it started to occur less frequently, but I was still really afraid of it. And it wasn't until I had a couple of sessions with my mentor that it uh, went away completely. And the reason why it went away completely is, become, is because I came to terms with it. I wasn't upset about it anymore. I wasn't ashamed of it anymore. I didn't judge myself for it anymore. And all of that allowed for the problem to fully dissolve. So that's what you wanna do. There's more to do in order to address the blushing problem completely. You might look for the first time that it happened, the worst time that it happened, the last time that it happened. Um, you can clear your fear of it happening in the future. In other words, this is a whole, it's, it's, it's not as easy as it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's not as easy as you might think. And it's also not as difficult. It just takes time, effort, and persistence to chip away at the layers of the blushing issue. Another thing that you can do is every time you get triggered, afterwards, you ask yourself, what made me blush? Oh, well, they looked at me and uh, they were judging me. Okay, judge, uh, tap on that. They, they looked at me, I blushed, I feel this heat in my face, they looked at me and whatever goes on in your mind, tap on that, focus on that. So every time you get triggered, you've got something to do. Allow those feelings to be in your body, tap, and allow um, those triggered feelings to complete their cycle, okay? You can... Uh, go to the toilet or just directly after a social event, that's what you can do. And just bit by bit, that will start to shrink the blushing issue. You start to uh, blush less frequently, it becomes less intense, you're not so upset about it anymore, and that's what you're after. Okay, so hope this helps you, and um, all the best. Bye for now.